All right, it's Jake Mace with PhoenixLongevityYards.com. It's Workout Wednesday today. And in addition to working out explosively and working out for flexibility, one of the trifectors of workout that I do for my own training is dynamically. So in this episode today, let me show you what I mean by working out dynamically and I'll give you a few exercises to try right now at home that all you need for is the ground and you can do them yourself. Our first exercise for today's workout Wednesday, I need you guys to be in a push-up position like this, like a plank. So get that plank up and we're gonna hold the plank and we're not gonna let our hips sag. Keep the hips up and square so the stomach is kind of tight and connected. Legs are straight and shoulders are down and I'm feeling like I'm pressing my palms into the cement beneath me. And what I want you guys to do is take your right knee and hover it above the ground here. And that's for beginners. If you're advanced, I want you to do the same thing, but touch your knee to your forehead like this. And then put it back. So can you see how I'm dynamically flexing my muscles and working on doing different holds? Other leg up. Flex those muscles. Pull the knee to the head. That's two. Other leg up. Knee to the head. Three. Knee up. Touch the head. That's four. Let's go for two more. Other leg up. Knee to the head. Other leg up. Knee to the head. And return to original position. <sighs> so hard. The next pose is on your feet. I want you guys to be just standing and we're gonna dynamically flex our abs. So I want you guys to have your hands up in the air this way, breathe in and then reach back a couple inches and hold there and feel like you're taking pressure off your back by throwing that pressure to your stomach. So flex your abs, tighten this up. When I have my students do this, I punch them in the stomach as they do it to make sure they focus on ab strength. Another breath, another exhale, and a few more inches back. Then again, breathe in, a few more inches back. Let's try for six, that's three, four, five, six, and hold it. Deep breath. And return to standing position. Our third exercise is back to our push-up position. And I want you guys to start this particular exercise one inch off the ground, and then push up to a halfway position right here. And I'm gonna hold there and I'm gonna think about my muscles flexing, especially the front of my deltoids, my triceps, and my chest muscles. And I'm trying to feel as if there's roots thrusting and stemming out of my palms and anchoring me into the ground. And I'm trying to flex so dynamically that my chest muscles are almost bursting out of my body. <sighs> Breathing calmly. few more seconds. Drop back to one inch and then push it all the way up. That one's challenging. Our fourth position today is leg flexibility and core strength. So I want you guys to turn to the side, 
hold the hands out like you're in a fighting stance and extend your side kick to hip height and hold it right there at hip height. Dynamically flex your quad, straighten your knee and tighten up the obliques right here. Hip height is for beginners. But if you guys are a little more advanced, you wanna to try to get head height or higher. Let's try for like 20 seconds. I go up to a minute on my own, but we'll do 20 seconds right now for you guys. Ten more. And down. And the other leg, the same thing. Ten more. Bring it in, down, and sit. Butt, quads, core. Great exercise. The last dynamic exercise we have for this video is going to involve lower back, upper back, shoulder flexibility, your butt, this thing right here, and your quads, all at the same time. It's a back bridge, so you can lay on the ground and push up to a back bridge, or you can back bend over to the back bridge. And I'm 32 years old, but I still like to do the back bend for my feet because it uh, feeds my youthful ego and proves to me that I can still do the stuff I could do when I was 20. So, good solid leg position. Reach the arms back all the way here, and then try to get those arms down to the ground. And then hold the back bridge. Now, once we're in position, I again, I want to be dynamic. So actively flex my muscles. Actively flex my butt, my quads, my shoulders, my deltoids, my triceps, maybe even a little bit of my traps. My feet are rooted. My knees are in line with my hips. My elbows are trying to push straight and I'm trying to push the earth down tremendously. Breathing the whole time. After about 30 seconds, bring the weight back to the feet, stand up straight, and return to your original position. The back bending over and the standing up straight is incredibly beneficial for the core and the abs. If you guys do these five particular dynamic Kung Fu exercises, before your workout begins, before your class, your martial art class, or my favorite is to do them after the class. I feel like I'm warmed up, I've already been sweating, I'm flexible, and now the dynamic exercise is like for sculpting and reshaping my body for a martial artist. If you guys like videos like this, please hit the like button right now. Subscribe to our channel. You may even choose to share this video with friends on Facebook, Twitter, add it to your favorites on YouTube. That will help us a lot. And look me up on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Jake Mace Tai Chi. And of course, our Facebook page is facebook.com slash Jake Mace dot Tai Chi. If you guys thought those five exercises on this video were pretty easy, try the peacock as a closeout. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Taolu Thursday. 20 seconds. <laughs>